So today we're back with another NECA Back to the Future figure, and this one is Doc Brown from Back to the Future 2. Kind of one of the most iconic looks, I think, for Doc Brown in the entire franchise. And for me, this is one of the best figures from the entire NECA range. There's so many positives with this figure that if you're looking to start getting into this range, I really think you couldn't go wrong starting with this figure. But let's get stuck into it now. Hi all, Chris here, the Geek Figure Fan, and as I said in the intro, we're getting stuck in with another NECA Back to the Future figure, and this one's the Dot Brown figure from Back to the Future 2, I guess also the same outfit that we see at the end of the first Back to the Future film, when he comes back to see Marty and tell him it's something's got to be done about his kids, and for me, it's such an iconic look. Ever since I was a kid, I mean, I loved this, this Doc Brown outfit, a bright yellow duster jacket, and the sort of steel sunglasses or whatever they are he's wearing. I just love it. I love it so much. So I'm so glad that I finally got this figure in hand in my collection. And really, we're almost there with the NECA Back to the Future range. It's, it is such a shame that this range finished before they could get to Back to the Future 3 figures. And it leaves a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth, knowing that I've not completed the range yet, but knowing also that, that my range will never be complete, really. I mean, regardless, let's start looking at this figure because there is so much to love about this figure. So what we're going to do is we're going to start first with the box. And I mean, the box art on any NECA figure doesn't disappoint, but it's they do so many cool things with the Back to the Future boxes on these. The front splash on all of these boxes are different. You know, every single figure is different and every single splash has something personal or specific to do with each figure. So with this Doc Brown box, what we've got is that front page of the issue of USA Today that Marty and Doc you sort of use quite a bit throughout the first act of the movie that originally shows Marty McFly Jr. being arrested for theft and then shows later on, obviously, that, that Griff Tannen has now replaced him in that and that theoretically they've achieved whatever it was that they were they were set out to to, to try and do. So I love that, and it's in such great detail. You can read most of the articles as well. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And, you know, the, the back has, has the same blurb on it that we've seen on all of the other figures, so I'm not going to go into any great detail on the rest of it. But there's some really nice pictures that show Doc in a couple of different stances, so I like that. And the, the rest of the, the box is sort of covered in that standard Back to the Future, DeLorean, Fire, Lightning artwork that we see so often splashed across any Back to the Future merchandise nowadays. There is also a high quality picture on the inside flap of the box and I'll pop a photo up there so you can see it. But really that's it. I mean, let's let that, what we really want is to get stuck into this figure. So what I'm going to do is we're going to first have a look at the accessories. I'm going to get him out in hand. We're going to have a close up look at the figure and also articulation. So yeah, first of all, I love the color on this guy. So when we've got him in hand, you can see how impressive the sort of silhouette of this figure looks. It, you know, it's a seven inch figure, so slightly larger than the six inch Hasbro figures that I look at mostly. But the attention to detail on these, these NECA figures is incredible. And when I get a close up look at this face, the detailing on here, the lines on his face, the creases, I mean, the, the creases everywhere, <laughs> you know, the NECA figures get creases right. The, all over this, this sort of what can only, you know, what I can only imagine is sort of a rain jacket type feel this this outer jacket it's so impressive and the inner lining the the attention to detail on the inner lining is unbelievable the little yellow design on the inside and the same with the shirt it, it's the ability to communicate different fabric feels through the plastic which i'm so impressed with i mean the back of that jacket the feeling of like a leather look on the back of that jacket is fantastic down to the seams and the again the creases on that I love that see-through tie. That is just like the film. I can't wait for the 2015 style to finally kick in. But yeah, I mean, I love everything about how this, this figure looks. And if we just quickly talk a little bit about the legs as well. So the detail on the trousers, I think, is fantastic on the pants there. And I love that little bit of green just creeping through. It's so it's such an 80s version of what futuristic fashion is going to look like. And those boots, those fantastic, almost like new rock boots, they're awesome. I love them. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. 
And just a word on articulation, really, really stiff, this figure. The wing movement is fine. We can get him into a T-shape. And despite these figures being poseable on shelves, I don't think there's a great deal of articulation here. We've got a single joint in the elbow and a twist in the wrist there. And you can see how stiff they are. It's going to need a lot of warming in order to make it more malleable. But it's okay. You know, it does a reasonable job. Far better movement in the legs. So you'll see there is a single joint in the knee. And again, I'm going to struggle to move this. Really stiff in the knee. But you will see there's actually a twist in just above the ankle. So a calf twist on this figure. Because of the high leg line, they've got that ability to put another bit of articulation in. A little bit of movement in the ankle as well, but not a great deal. Uh, and you'll see there is twist in the torso and a small ab crunch as well. So that's hidden by the shirt and also probably restricted by the shirt as well. And if we just take a quick look at accessories as well. So we have got two interchangeable heads. We take a look at the first interchangeable head here. And this is the sort of gleeful Doc Brown look, which uh, for me, I'm assuming this is where it's from. But it's that kind of moment where he, you know, when he peels off that... That skin that he'd been he'd been putting on, you know, the the rejuvenation skin or whatever it was, where he peeled it off and he's like, "Wow, I look ten years younger." That's kind of the moment of the film that I take that from. And then we have a more serious looking Doc Brown head as well. So this is for the heavy moments in the movie. Both heads look fantastic. Same level of detail, I'd say, as the head that's already on there. We've just got sort of a glasses-free head there. I always think the eyes on Necker figures are incredible, and these don't disappoint. And then after that, let's look at some of the other peripheral accessories. Just a piece of paper here, but again, a really detailed piece of paper. It's a, it's that version of the front cover of the USA Today paper with Marty McFly Jr. being arrested on the front. So I really like that. You can put him in some good poses with that. But this is probably my favourite accessory from any of the NECA figures in this range. The emergency cash case. And this case actually opens up and contains tiny little plastic pieces of cash from a variety of different time periods that Doc Brown has obviously considered travelling to. You know, it gives him good backup. The case stays open. Just such a good posable accessory, that is. I love it. You get two sets of hands, effectively. So you've got a set of open hands that come attached to him and then a set of closed gripping hands as well that come separate. So at the moment, I've got one of each on my figure, so you'll see another one of each that are separate there. So an open and a closed hand to put him in a couple of different positions. And then you've got these kind of futuristic binoculars that he uses at the beginning of the movie as well. Tiny little accessory there, but still really, really cool attention to detail. And they sit in the gripped hands very well. They sort of perch perfectly between the thumb and forefinger there. So again, another really easily posable accessory. So I love all of the accessories in here. Like I say, the, that emergency cash box might be my favourite accessory from the entire range. The level of detail on it is fantastic. So yeah, I am so impressed with this figure. Let's get him into a couple of poses and we'll just talk a little bit more about him. But yeah, I am so, so impressed with the look of this figure. I think he is fantastic. And you can see in the first version that I've got up there, I've got him with the glasses on, holding those binoculars. And yeah, I mean, I know I didn't talk about it too much. The only negative I have, and you can see it on here, the bottom of the boots have got this tiny little, almost like an aerial sticking up from the back. And with my fat fingers, I've broken them both already. One of them is bent to one angle, you can see, and the other one's completely gone. So on this figure, there are a couple of really, really delicate, breakable parts, and uh, I've already hammered my way through it, unfortunately. Like a bull in a china shop, I've I've ruined those those boots. But the boots themselves look amazing. It's just, the, I know I've said it before, but the level of detail is kind of astounding on this figure. For a, a seven-inch figure... You know, we're not looking at a one-sixth hot toy here. And and I get that. You know, with the Necker figures, you just... I, I think you're always just getting sort of one step up from that Hasbro Mattel six-inch look. Uh, it's, it's clearly not to the standard of a Mezco, but it's not far off. I, I suppose what you're getting with those are uh, more cloth clothing that you don't get with these. These are still very plastic. But yeah, I, 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 can't, I can't say enough good things about it. I've got him here now shocked at what is on the newspaper and he's got the emergency cash box ready and you can just see how many different options you've got for posing on this you can have so much fun on that cabinet shelf 
putting all of these different figures in position. Because you've got the interchangeable heads in the hands, you've got so many options to pose these however you want. I'd love you to get, get down in the comments and let me know if you collect this range, if it's something that you that you pose up. I feel like if you're if you're a budding action figure photographer and you want to get some figures that you can put in some nice poses for some easy, simple scene photographs, then these Necker figs are perfect for you. So I, I, I think positioning him with that newspaper like that, it's, it's just it's just really emotive. And we'll just move on to kind of the last look that we've got here here he is he's he's taken that that peeled that outer skin whatever it is off of his face he's telling marty that he looks 10 years younger and we can all see how incredible he looks now but yeah i with that cash box open that's how i've got him on the shelf with the cash box open and that just sits free stands on his own so yeah i i I can't say enough good things about this figure. I don't know, I've gone on and on and on about it, but one of my favourite figures in my entire range, this Doc Brown, one of my favourite movies of all time, one of my favourite characters of all time, one of my favourite looks for one of my favourite characters of all time, and the figure hits every note that I want it to. So yeah, love it, love it. Very high score, one of my favourite figures of all time. I think it's incredible. And I know it's not a new figure per se, it's a new pickup for me, but I'm just so pleased. Uh, so please get down in the comments. Let me know what you think of this figure. Uh, please consider giving the video a like if you've enjoyed any of this. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more news and reviews. I've got three figures left in this range. We've got Griff Tannen coming in the next couple of weeks. And then we'll have two more Martys. Uh, sorry, two more Martys and one more Doc actually to come. But yeah, really enjoying going through this range, even though it's, no, it's not the newest set. I, you know, I love the films, so I get nostalgic hits of love whenever I get one of these figures out and review them. But yeah, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out. And if Back to the Future NECA figures interest you, why not check out this video next? Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope everyone takes care. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.